What the hell do you think you're doing? Hey, back off. Hey, wait. No! I'll shoot you. It's been almost a year now since the event. Hey, no more messing around. Hey, hey back up. Chill out already. I know it's crazy, but I, I just have this feeling that I'll find you. Hello, people of the earth, and welcome back to Quick Safe TV. I have uh, I have started recording on Enter. Excuse me, I went deeper into menus. My name is Mike, and this is I Am Alive, a remarkable game by oh, I don't even remember by whom it is. But the thing is, I just really wanted to play it and record and see how you like it, if you like it or not. To my biggest surprise, it was one of those cheapish games, and I never even heard about it. I heard about it by accident, and yeah, it's it's a survival horror set in the post-apocalyptic environment, right? Like, what would happen if um, if something bad would happen, right? If the majority of people would die, it's incredibly interesting, and I hope you will enjoy it. I am struggling right now to wake up. You will completely reset your safe progress and energy, but yes, I am sure. Normal. We're gonna play a normal because I hate playing survival horrors on hard difficulties. This game is incredibly exciting. It's a different kind of survival horror. So let's just, without fear, from Ubisoft again, from those French guys, you know, holy hell, how do they always do that? Something exciting. They always present something extremely exciting. So, in this game, what happens is we view transmissions between um, between chunks of missions, right? Between a specific... Let, no, let's not even put the missions. Between specific... Um, Test. Test. How to put it better. <laughs> Every little once in a while, we accomplish a specific task, right? And wow. after this task, that's what happens. We see this from the, from the camera. Someone uh, is watching the camera. A, a girl me, or a woman is watching this, the camera. And he's recording what had happened to him, anyway, right? Anyway, if you could try to deliver this video recorder... Technically... That's an uh, yeah, yeah. Well, the, right the thing is, he's trying to well, uh, he's trying to reestablish connection with his family after this accident, after the event, okay. how they call it. The event happened life. a year ago, right? Backpack, he is not. He doesn't even know if they will be there. He wants to go there and find them. It was it was long ago. It was Pick long time. Batteries. It took him a lot of time to Pistol. reach back them. Somehow they got separated, Pistol. or they were separated when the event anyway. occurred. The event caused a gigantic destruction, earthquakes, and etc. And subsequent food shortages, water shortages, all kinds of funny stuff, right? What happens when the accidents like this happen? But on a global scale, right? The entire city seems to be half destroyed, and people, the remaining people that survived, seem to be crazed, right? So it's 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 really exciting, and the combat, which you will see in just a couple of moments is the whole different story. It's incredibly exciting because of the way it is and because of the way you have to improvise in combat. It's it's incredible, honestly. That's what persuaded me to make a series out of it, or at least to attempt to record some episodes and see how you're going to react to it. I know it's crazy, but I, I just have this feeling that I'll find you. Julie, without you and Mary... None of this makes any sense. Everything makes sense, but you know, it's it's admirable that the the only thing he's thinking about is to get back to his family and it's just great, you know. It's respectable, it's something I can understand. You know, he had a wife he loved, right? They had some arguments, apparently. But you know, the thing is the thing is that he's going to them, he's trying to find them. Let's go ahead and see how it goes. The game itself seems to be a look at this lie. Oh yeah. Alright. The game itself seems to be a blend of different things. And I like the way the sound is designed. When everything is calm, when you just walk like this, sound, there, there's no sound, there's just background ambient noise. But if you start running, listen to this. Aventon traffic. Oh no, I missed it. Progressively, as you drain your stamina, the situation escalates and the game responds to it by giving you more and more aggressive track. Meaning that, you know, it actually it actually feels like when you're in trouble, you know, it corresponds... Well, it, the only thing it doesn't correspond when, when you're going exploring and you're just running around, right? So let's go ahead and climb on here, which is another thing I wanted to talk a little bit about. I like how this horror game, this uh, survival game, you know, horror not so much, more survival, um, combines such different elements. Right now, this actually reminds me a lot of Prince of Persia, right? Or Lara Croft. Not so much Lara Croft, more Prince of Persia. But Prince of Persia, where the guy is not uh, kicking as much ass as much he's trying to survive, right? 
And this is interesting. Look at this. He's he's actually able to do that, but his energy, his stamina, is constantly being drained. And because of that, he needs to be really careful. Because if you're not going to be careful with your stamina, what's going to happen is you're going to run out of it, and you can actually fall down and die. You have very limited amount of retries, which depends on your uh, difficulty. On novice, I think you have an unlimited amount of retries. We're playing a normal. We have three retries per every level. On uh, survival, I think we have zero retries, which is uh, or one retry. Well, anyway, regardless of the fact, it's extremely hardcore. I would like to try it in the future once I get more familiar with the game. I actually played the first um, uh, the first chunk of content a couple of times just to figure out how to play this game better because it's that complicated and you know there's so many things especially about combat right which I wanted to figure out and mechanics okay anyway let's go ahead and no 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 that was the wrong idea of me you can actually force yourself to jump as you're climbing by pressing space right um, and that drains stamina as you can see but in some circumstances like right here right now it is necessary so you have to be really really careful and waste absolutely no time especially at complex climbing like this one right this one this one gave me a break the next one won't and this is very important because if you don't you're going to have to spend your resources which is right here water food cannon etc they help you restore energy and health so you have to be extremely careful. Another thing is, you actually have a gun, as you've seen through the uh, uh, beginning cinematic, as I was talking over the poor guy. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just trying to know, you know, to compress as much as I can into this. <laughs> and, and yeah, you know, it, it's just so exciting. And the bullets, the bullets actually killed you almost instantly. So you have to be really careful. Which is, you know, realistic. <laughs> you die in one or two hits at most, two if you're lucky, if the target did not hit you in a critical part of your body. And now we're going to press left mouse button to make a push for it, you see? The stamina bar collapsed a little bit. As we're making this push, they can be done when you're running as well, to, you know, to push in some specific circumstances. Extreme effort drains your maximum stamina and makes it more difficult in the future to be prepared for any kind of situation right now we have already one sixth less stamina so let's go ahead and consume a butter bottle oh, water bottle <laughs> water bottle <laughs> water bottle <laughs> i'm still sleeping i'm sorry it increases our stamina capacity by plus let's go ahead and use it and so we fixed everything we're fe feeling better now well, it's still <laughs> standing. no haven't and has seen better days Look at this, it's crazy. All of these things, actually, why is it so wide? It's because there's dust in the air. So much dust, it's just incredible. I do not know all the details yet. But what I did understand, it's very dusty. It's incredible. No way I can drop that. Actually, character reacts to when you give him specific, you know, instructions. Like, for example, jump do down. He does not jump when it's too high. Why doesn't he drop from here? It's kind of... Okay, good. He does not drop from very high distances, etc. And he does not fall into the gaps what he does is he's just looking into them you know checking if he can you know like it, it makes me feel like imagine like he, he's trying to check if he can drop down there and after realizing that he cannot he just doesn't and it's great it doesn't bother the player very much me it didn't bother me at all in in dark souls after dark souls you know i'm playing dark souls right now extensively where you die you know you you you, I die much more from falling and struggling with controls rather than from actual enemies you know that that's something that gives me some breathing space Right now, over there, we just picked up a resource material, right? Which will be incredibly useful in the future. There's no point not picking it up. Painkillers increase health if we get into trouble and we screw up. Usually, if you're good, you can avoid all damage whatsoever in the encounter. However, if you screw up, it's very nice to have some additional, you know, boost in form of painkillers or whatever else to ha whatever else you have, which will help you immensely. Huh. There's a ladder on that truck. Looks safe, isn't it? <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and climb down using this track. Yeah. Something that I wouldn't like to do. Another thing I would like to commend on the side of Ubisoft, whomever developed this game, right? Ubisoft is obviously a publisher, I'm not sure if they developed the game as well. But the thing is, the game is beautifully ported to the PC. Okay, I have to notice that. Because uh, Dark Souls, okay, with all honesty, it's a enormous enormous enormously beautiful game enormously wonderful game so much content inside such wonderful mechanics right but what it suffers from immensely is horrendous port okay bandai bandai, bandai namco 
uh, in combination with this From Software Studios, which developed the game, I imagine, did a horrible job and didn't even try, uh, even a little bit, in order to make a game more playable on the PC platform. Playing on playing on keyboard and mice, mouse, excuse me, not only doesn't have any help support, right? It doesn't tell you anything. You have to figure it out and reverse engineer every little thing all by yourself. I'm gonna go ahead and slide carefully, all by yourself. But also, it's so not comfortable. It's just incredible how they actually managed to do that. I cannot, I cannot imagine, I cannot believe that if they would try even a little bit to make the game better port, right, they wouldn't succeed more. Because this is so bad, it's incredible. Here, I'm Alive is beautifully ported. The controls are intuitive and very, very nice. So, yeah, it's it's so fun to play. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. I'm actually loving it. It's It's great. You can actually sneak also, right? And here's our gun. You can pull it out, and there's a whole set of mechanics connected with the gun, which you will see in several, several moments, probably in the next episode, the way I see it right now, but yeah, you will see some other interesting mechanics as well. Mechanics of NPCs reacting to your appearance. Some characters are simply protecting their territory, some others are more aggressive, you have to be careful. You, you can just go ahead and pause and read this loading screen, because I cannot. Let's go ahead and sneak here, and look what happens. Here is a guy over there. He's seen us. Don't I don't want any trouble. He's aiming a gun at us. Notice how he's not... He's not motivated to start a fight with us, but he's he's just defending his place. If we would go closer and try to attack him or pull our own gun, uh, all excuse me, or pull our own gun, the chances are high that he would shoot us. Right? So you have to be really, really careful. See, half a city is destroyed. It's incredible. Let's go ahead upstairs. Half of it is collapsed. It's great. And we're gonna go ahead and just go ahead and pause at this point. I thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. If you enjoyed this video and my commentary on I Am Alive, please go ahead and put a like on this video and favorite it. You can check out the game on Steam. It is also available, if I'm not mistaken, on PS3 and Xbox 360 because it was ported, after all, from consoles to us, to our PC market. And yeah, stay tuned for more content. Tell me what you think about it, whether you liked it or did you not like it. And have a greatest day.